Hey, I'm sorry if you can see any of this mess going on at home. I might as well just show you, but there's just crap like everywhere because uh, I'm actually in the process of moving. So I'm moving to a new apartment. But yeah, um, this week I wanted to talk about a very common double standard that for some time I didn't quite understand, but then like I kind of thought about it and then it kind of registered and made sense to me. So what I want to talk about is the studs or guys who fuck a lot of girls versus the sluts, girls who fuck a lot of guys. Now, let's start with the studs. Like, the reason why guys are considered to be a stud or like it's not frowned upon for a guy to fuck a bunch of girls, I mean, girls, we don't understand it. Like, we really don't. We think it's stupid because like, oh, well, if I go around and I fuck a, like 10,000 guys or whatever, I'm considered a slut, but if a guy does it, he has bragging rights. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Well, you know, I thought about it because I have nothing better to do with my life than contemplate all these weird fucking things. And, you know, I think the difference between it is that it's hard for a guy to be a stud. Like, it's hard for a guy to get laid. Like, he's got to put work in. For a girl, you just got to be there. Like, let me explain this. A guy, regardless if he's good looking or not, He's got to put work in to get laid. Like, girls, we don't do anything. Like, we get approached by guys. We're the ones who, like, the guys come up to, and they're the ones who spit their game. Like, for us, it's more of a relationship thing. We got to work hard to get ourselves into a relationship. They got to work hard to get themselves laid. Like, guys, they put so much effort into it. Like, you know, for a guy who is considered to be a stud or, like, fucks a lot of girls... You know, he takes really good care of himself, his hair is always on point, he always got like a nice wardrobe going on, he's like got a nice body because he hits the gym all the time, and then like, you know, he figures out how to talk to girls, which is like kind of like a trial and error thing because it's different for everybody, you can't just be like, oh, well dude, this is what you say. No, that does not work, it is different for everyone. So, like, it, it takes a lot of effort for a guy to pick a girl up and to get laid or to get her attention, period, because... Us girls, we are shallow bitches. Enough said. However, for a girl, it's so easy for a girl to get laid. It is fucking easy for a girl to get laid. Like, all we have to do is pick out, like, a fucking slutty-ass fucking dress and go to the club or the bar or something, and, like, by the end of the night, well, at least one guy will have tried to hit on us. It's just how it works. Like, even if you're not even that attractive, like, if I, if you don't think you're that pretty or if you don't think that you're good looking and that, oh, well, no one's going to like me, no one's going to want to hit on me, or Carrie, what are you talking about? It's not easy for girls to get laid. Well, think of it this way. Like, even if you look torn up, like, you look like shit, like, a guy's going to see you and that's going to be his last resort. I don't want to sound like a bitch, but it's true. If you're not, like, some fine-ass-looking dime piece, no guy's gonna be like, oh, damn, I wanna hook up with her tonight. No. He's not, no. You're gonna be the last resort. And when I say last resort, I mean if I, if the guy's gonna look at you and he's gonna think, if I can't hook up with that dime piece over there, I'm gonna go for this chick over here who looks like she's fucking torn up and was desperate as fuck and will take any dick that comes her way. If you dress and you talk like you're easy, like, you talk about all the fucking sex that you have and, like, you fucking are dressed in, like, a shirt, this fucking, like, top and or dress or whatever that your fucking junk is hanging out of. Well, not necessarily your junk, but, you know, your shit's all hanging out. Like, your tits are all just, like, pop. And then, like, your vag is, like, it's like, peekaboo. Like, a guy's gonna see that and be like, oh, yeah, I could get with that. If I can't get with this chick over here, I'm gonna go hit up that girl over there. Like... It's easy to be a slut. It is hard to be a stud. It's just it's just how the world works. Like, guys are not as shallow as girls. Like, don't get me wrong. Guys can be shallow and guys can be harsh. But most guys aren't as shallow and harsh as girls. Like, girls, we have some, like, image in our brain of this, like, perfect-looking guy who has, like, a fucking six-pack and a perfect tan and, like, the most amazing fucking hairdo and, like, has, like, the most cute fucking clothes ever and like has a bunch of money and a nice car and all this shit and it's like not every guy is like that how do you expect to ever find a good guy when you're looking for a douchebag like another thing is like girls 
make up your fucking mind. You say, oh, I want a nice guy. And then you find this nice guy and you stick him in the friend zone. And then you go for this guy who's a fucking douchebag just because he looks good. It's fucking hard to be a stud and it is so easy to be a slut. All you have to do is be there to be a slut and being a stud takes work. Ladies, I'm sorry. Dudes, I know you're probably thinking, thank God somebody fucking said it. But it's just how it works. I mean, it's not like I want to admit that because I'm a girl and I know it's easy to be a fucking slut because I went through that period of time where I just, I used to play the game of wondering, hmm, I wonder how many guys' numbers I can get tonight or how many guys are going to hit on me or I wonder how many guys are going to say they want to fuck me. You know, I thought that. I'm pretty sure every girl thinks that when she's getting ready to go out with her friends or like go out to the club or something, she looks at her outfit and she's like, I hope somebody says they want to fuck me. I hope this outfit says I would fuck you. You know? Like, I mean, even girls, they'll go up to their girlfriends in their outfits and they'll be like, would you fuck me? Hello? Guys, they can't go up to their friends and be like, yeah, yeah man, hey, check out my outfit. Do, would you fuck me? No, that doesn't work so well. I hope you guys enjoyed this shorter video on the difference between a slut and a stud, or the slut versus studs. Just that whole double standard. So if you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button down there. And if you would like to subscribe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button that's up over here somewhere. And if you would like to share this video with anyone that you know is a slut, or anyone that you know is a stud, or anyone that you know who may be complaining about this fucking double standard and how guys never catch shit for being man whores, go ahead and share this video with them too. I will see you guys next week. Till then!